Former News of the World editor Andy Coulson is mobbed by journalists after being released on police bail. The man who was also David Cameron's former communications chief had been arrested over the phone hacking scandal and alleged corrupt payments to police officers. The arrest has put the Prime Minister in a very difficult political spot and earlier he was forced to defend the relationship. He had resigned from the News of the World. He said at the time he didn't know what was happening on his watch. He should have known what was happening on his watch. He paid the price. He resigned. I took the decision, as I say, my decision, my decision alone, to give him a second chance. Labour leader Ed Miliband wasn't convinced by this and accused the Prime Minister of being out of step with public opinion. We saw a Prime Minister today who still doesn't seem to get it. And I'm afraid he's someone who doesn't seem to be able to lead the change we need in the way the press works in this country. Outside the News of the World headquarters at Rupert Murdoch's News International, a group of anti-Murdoch demonstrators gathered. While inside under fire, Chief Executive Rebecca Brooks told staff that in a year's time they would understand why they suddenly decided to shut the tabloid down, seeming to suggest there was more bad news to come.